station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Station is ready for the event. KNBC TV, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Naomi Lee with KNBC TV. How do you hear me? Hi, Naomi. I have you loud and clear. How me? Loud and clear. Good morning, Dr. Watkins from Los Angeles. Good morning and welcome, welcome Los Angeles. Uh, it is an honor to speak with you this morning. Uh, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about your mission and the work that you're doing on the ISS? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we are up here. Um, we first arrived on station as uh, part of the uh, NASA's SpaceX Crew 4 uh, mission. So we came up here on a SpaceX Crew Dragon. Um, and we are now part of Expedition 67 on the International Space Station. And up here, um, we are doing lots of science, um, conducting lots of different kinds of scientific experiments, including physical science, biology, uh, technology demonstrations. We're doing earth and space science, which is near and dear to my heart. Um, and then human research as well, um, where we become the test subjects ourselves. Um, we also perform quite a bit of maintenance on board the station, um, helping to um, helping to continue the, the life and the legacy of the ISS out to 2030 at least. Um, so that's a, a big part of our mission as well. Um, and then to involve our international counterparts as well. So we have um, one of my crewmates, Samantha Cristoforetti, is um, an ESA astronaut, European Space Agency from Italy, um, as well as our, our Russian colleagues. So we um, have, have multiple missions um, coming together to, to accomplish the most science um, that we can. Uh, well, you mentioned that uh, subject that's near and dear to your heart. You have a doctorate in geology from UCLA. Uh, how are you applying your expertise to your work in space? Yeah, you know, for me as a geologist and particularly as a planetary geologist who um, spent, uh, as you mentioned, my, my graduate work and, and uh, research thereafter thinking about the geology of other planets. Um, being up here on ISS gives us such a unique vantage point um, that is, it is really easy to make comparisons to the way that we're able to see planetary surfaces um, in addition to you know, kind of how we're able to see the surface of the Earth from from uh, the ISS. So to be able to make that comparison, um, especially for places that on the ground that I have visited, I've done field work in, um, to be able to see that from kind of a planetary perspective, if you will, um, has been really, really neat. Uh, what have you found to be the most challenging so far? Well, I'll say that certainly when we first arrived, the most uh, challenging aspect of being up here is um, just your the kind of adaptation process where your brain is, is learning to think and move in three dimensions. Um, so learning how to, learning to use the walls and the ceiling to, to climb on and then also to just reorient yourself to be able to utilize the full volume of the International Space Station. Um, certainly took some getting used to, but was also really fun to see how quickly our brains are able to adapt to a new environment. Now, uh, jumping off of that, how long did you wait before you did your first backflip in uh, zero G? I, I, as soon as I felt up to it, um, I, I did one pretty immediately. Still working on it, but um, definitely a, a highlight. Uh, sounds good. Oh, what have you missed the most since you've been gone? Well, we certainly, you know, up, being up here for an extended period of time, um, we certainly miss our, our family and friends and, and everyone that we know on Earth, um, all of our instructors and teams um, that are that are helping us um, in our mission. Um, but I think for me as well, in addition to, to the human beings, um, is the, the food. We have excellent food up here. Our, we have a team on the ground that, that um, really spoils us with lots of um, different types of food and, and diversity of food. 
food, but uh, we still have not been able yet to get um, burritos and, um, you know, warm pizza and things like that, um, guacamole, uh, up on, on the space station. So we, we definitely miss those things. Yeah, I was looking at pictures um, of a recent pizza party that you guys had. I mean, I guess nothing really beats fresh out of the oven pizza. <laughs> It's true, but it actually did a pretty good job. It was a pretty good substitute. Um, we had um, some supplies that were flown up on the um, Boeing Starliner, the CST-100 vehicle um, that came up on the OFT-2 mission um, not too long ago. And it came bringing, brought with it um, lots of science and supplies and luckily for us, some treats as well. So that's what enabled us to have that, that awesome pizza party. All right. Um, well, you are the first black woman to serve on a long duration mission on the ISS. Uh, what message do you want to give to other women hoping to follow in your footsteps? Yeah, and you know, for me, I think what was really important to me was being able to find and, and have supportive mentors um, who helped me along the way. Um, so I, I think I would say um, to anybody who is, is interesting, interested in um, whatever it is that you're, that you're interested in pursuing, to, to pursue that relentlessly and then to find um, people that will help guide you along the way, help encourage you along the way, um, help you put one foot in front of the other every day and remind you what you're capable of and, and what your goals are. Um, but certainly for me, that, that is what enabled me to be successful um, to this day. Um, and going off of that, um, you know, a lot was said, you know, uh, when you've launched to the ISS about your history making status. Um, do you think we're not too far off from where those types of headlines, I guess, won't be such a a thing, it won't be such an unusual or milestone making topic. So sorry, can you repeat the, the last part of the, the question? I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, what I was just wanting to know is that, you know, I mean, you made history with your trip to the ISS. Um, do you think we are, I guess, closer to having more women and more women of color, like so where the headlines aren't as prevalent is what I'm trying to ask. It's not such a big thing. Like it's not like we're, we're yeah, going to Yeah, absolutely. Big thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, um, you know, the, the, the thing about as we celebrate um, these firsts, and you know, we're hoping hoping to celebrate uh, more firsts um, as we we look towards the moon um, and eventually to Mars um, with the Artemis program, NASA's Artemis program as well. Um, but you know, I think ultimately the goal is to not have any more firsts, um, right? The the um, the intent overall is to get to a point where um, we have so much diversity and representation um, that there are there are no longer. Um, you know, places for for these firsts to occur. And so I think as we each, each one of the kind of firsts that we, uh, milestones that we pass, we get closer to that end goal of, of no longer having any more firsts. Thank you. Um, any messages you want to send to anyone back home? Yeah, absolutely. Um, shout out to uh, City of Los Angeles, to UCLA, everyone at UCLA, go Bruins. Um, also at um, Caltech, go Beavers, um, and uh, my colleagues um, down at JPL as well. Hi, hey, everybody. Um, before we let you go, we want to wish you a happy belated birthday. How was your party? Oh, thank you so much. Um, yes, it was one to remember, that's for sure. Um, certainly unlike any other birthday I've had. Um, it definitely gives you some perspective, you know, kind of um, doing one another lap around the sun while you're doing laps around the earth. Uh, it was pretty special. Well, thank you, Dr. Watkins. It has been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, we hope to hear all about your mission uh, when you're back on Earth. Absolutely, I look forward to it. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event.
Thank you to all participants from KNBC-TV station. We are now resuming operational audio communications.